Okay, here we go. Uh, getting back to that uh, tractor I used to go to the lake and uh, paint these uh, wheels on here. Got one of them started. Doesn't look too bad, but uh, they don't match here, so I'm going to show you how I did this. Uh, get started here. Okay, here we go. Just showing you this because anybody can do this. Um, the other wheels were rusted worse than this, but uh, of course you can have to do all four. But you see the shine right here? Anybody can do this. I'll show you how you can mask this. Take this sandpaper here, and you got to get that shine off of there. Because if you don't get that shine off there, plus I use this carburetor cleaner to clean any grease off there, the paint's not going to stick. So when I get this ready, all this shine will be gone. Okay, here we go. Making short work of this. So this has only been about uh, 15 minutes. Got this sanded down. Put this tape all the way around here. Catch that overspray. Don't want to skip this uh, part here because if you get paint down or in around here, it's hard to get back out and it gives you a gaudy looking job. So I got that finish all off of there. I uh, got a little bit of shine right here. I'm going to go ahead and get that back off of there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit that with primer. And since these wheels are going to be white, you want to use a, a real light colored primer so you don't have to uh, overcoat. Of course, with a, uh, any paint job here, I'll hit these rust spots here. Let that primer uh, go on there as like a sticker. And then I'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and go get over with a white. I'm going to get about three coats on here. Um, another little tip here, like through my shop right now, the water, the uh, air is going through here to the south. So I'm going to be painting on the south side. You don't want to paint upwind and have the air carry through the shop and, and uh, dust all of your uh, stuff in your uh, shop or any of your other stuff. So I always try to paint with uh, the wind to my back and uh, force the uh, overspray away from you, not on your vehicle windshields, etc. But uh, this will be a fast job. Okay, here we go then. This is the rear wheel. Got a little ahead of myself here. Got the white on there. Made about three coats on there. You want to take your time with that white. Because uh, it'll run. I got quite a bit, a bit of experience painting here, and to get this with a rattle can nowadays, the paint's pretty darn good. But with a coat of primer on there and a couple coats of white on there, even if you let it set out, make a difference. And really, what I'm doing here is no different. What the car shows do: touch the paint up and paint cells. But I like it because it makes a difference. Got the small wheel here done. Got a couple coats of primer on there. Get a little bit more on there. Let that stick, and two coats of white, and I'll be done. Okay, here we go with that wheel. This is always a fun part here. Start getting some of this tape off of here. You'll see I got some overspray on here. It's not a big deal. We'll go around there with some uh, carburetor cleaner. Alcohol will work too. Get that off there, but it's really important to get this edge. Here's another thing. I'm going to touch up the air breather cover. Only took a few minutes. Sand us down. Mask off that decal. Don't ever want to paint over those. Always gives you a nice finish when you get done. Over tape the edges, take a straight edge here and square your edges on that decal you can see through your tape. Just go ahead and fan that with some uh, black paint. It'll touch all this up. There are a couple light coats on there. You gotta realize it's about 20 years old, been on there since the factory put it on. So just touch that up while I got that piece off there. Pull that tape back off. You have a nice looking decal there and it'll have a shiny coat of black paint on there. Okay, here's some of that coming off. I couldn't do it with a camera, but uh, what I also did was I saved a bunch of this tape from yesterday when I did the other side. Hung it all up here on the rack, and then what I did was I just, it since it already was made into the radius. Most of it went back around there, so it saved me a lot of taping. But uh, here you can see what a nice clean line you get all the way around here versus trying to clean that. Gives you a uh, not light, not lot uh, nicer looking job when you do it rather than trying to clean it and if you do an overspray uh, there's really no point in doing the paint work it looks gaudy when you're done and I uh, taped off the valve cap so I'll take that tape off here in a minute and uh, leaves it nice and black and defines the whole wheel okay just wanted to show you on this wheel here I got two, uh, a coat of primer on there kind of in a hurry bugs are coming out two coats of paint I started on this at uh, I think six o'clock and it's about uh, six 30 so I sanded that down taped it put three a coat of primer two coats of paint and get ready to clean it off so um, You're looking at two hours to do four wheels and what a difference will make Okay, here we go. There's the difference those uh, wheels made getting those uh, new paint job on there Ready to go fishing <laughs> 